Okay, our next guest coaches CEOs and entrepreneurs, helping them succeed in life and with work. Author, podcaster, and teacher Sumit Gupta joins us live via Zoom to talk about something that's really important for all of us in the workplace today, higher productivity and lower stress. Welcome, Sumit. It's so nice to have you. It's good to be there with you. Excellent. Well, people say that they're so busy, but you say we can actually boost our productivity. How exactly can we do that? I think the answer lies in your question itself. And uh, it's a big mis misconception that uh, to be more productive, we have to do more or we have to be more busy. And I think that's what uh, creates friction. And one of my biggest learnings has been that uh, being busy has nothing to do with uh, being productive. And what we instead need is a, a laser sharp focus on what is valuable, like right? what do you mean by productivity? And then for each level, if you are a CEO of a company, then what is valuable on the level of your organization? If you're leading a team, then what is valuable on the level of the team? And then once you identify that, then it all becomes uh, a matter of eliminating what is it that you are already doing and that is keeping you busy, which is not aligned with what is valuable. Mm -hmm. And uh, in my work with leaders, I have been able to clear out 50 to 80 percent of uh, the time they were spending in just by getting very clear and laser focused on what is valuable on every level of the organization. Mm -hmm. And then obviously saying no or having those conversations become a huge skill to build for any leader. Yes, definitely. And these conversations obviously can be pretty hard ones at times, too. I mean, what is your perspective on feeling uncomfortable, especially when it comes to these conversations? Yeah, I think there are two aspects of it, right? One is the word hard and the second one is uncomfortable. Yeah. And I would like to share, right, that there are no hard, hard or difficult conversations. And uh, uh, there are only conversations which we have practiced and which we have not practiced. So instead of looking at performance, right, we are normally looking at how do we perform or how do we do better. If, if we can look at practice, how much practice do we have at a particular kind of a conversation? And then if uh, we look back in our lives, we all have examples of conversations which were hard ones, but they are easier now. So it's always about practice. Uh, and so that's my frame of uh, like, there are no hard conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think the second thing is conversations are uncomfortable because we have not created workplaces where we have allowed these conversations to happen. So once again, it's uh, then the leader's responsibility to create a safe space for others and also not, uh, uh, not hide behind a uh, comfort zone themselves. Yeah. Every leader should uh, uh, can do actually better for their organization by sharing what is uncomfortable for them because that's leading by example and that gives other permis others permission to do the same. Yes, okay, I really like this advice. This is really, really great, Sumit. Okay, so for you, what would you say is more important? Is it what you say or maybe how well you listen? I would say that unless uh, unless you listen well, mm -hmm. you have no idea what to speak, right? And um, if you uh, if you see the word silent, uh, it has the same characters at, as listen. And uh, it is always better to be silent than speaking something to fill the gap, but which might not be relevant to the other person. And uh, when we speak about listening, we are not just talking about listening to the words, but we are also talking about listening and understanding where the other person is coming from. Yeah. How are they feeling, right? What What is their emotional state? What matters to them? Uh, and uh, is it going in the right direction for them or not? And because if we can listen to those deep levels, then we will automatically know what to speak or how to proceed. But if we try to speak just to fill, fill the silence, we would probably end up speaking something which doesn't matter and that creates uh, disconnection in the relationship, leave on uh, a massive loss in productivity. Yes, and I know we've all been there. Well, Sumit, thank you so much for your insight on this. I think this is something that all of us can take to heart and take back to the workplace. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody, you can follow it. Sumit Gupta, the creator of the Choosing Leadership Program, and you can find yourself feeling empowered, confident, and more productive. Learn more at deployyourself.com.